Hello, we are here at Midtown Comics Times Square. It is Wednesday. Happy new comic book day to you. It's also pie day, so eat some pie, because who doesn't love pie? Pie is like the greatest thing on the planet. You know, 3.14 is pretty cool. But do you know what's cooler? Comics. Comics are actually the coolest thing on the planet, and we've got a lot of them. So we're going to walk through, and we're going to talk about all the brand new comics that are coming out to you this week. Lots of fun stuff, lots of great books. We've also got some really cool signings that you can look forward to this week. So we've got a signing tomorrow right here in Times Square with Magdalene Visaggio for Eternity Girl number one, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. And then next week, we've got a signing with Greg Peck and Corey Smith. going to be a lot of fun. But right now, we're going to talk about the brand new releases. So first off, we've got some staff recommendations. We've got Jay going for Detective Comics number 976. I trusted you, Batman. Never again. Robin has been betrayed. Well, Red Robin, Tim Drake, you know, the whole thing. Very cool stuff. Then we've got Seabaz picking up Thrawn issue number two. He's a big Star Wars fan. And we've got Andrew going with Mr. Miracle, which returns after a one-month hiatus. So, very excited to see that back. We've got V going for Puerto Rico Strong, which is an anthology series where the proceeds go to benefit those who uh, suffered the horrible hurricanes in Puerto Rico. And then we've also got Mike going with Trinity. And honestly, he is a huge DC nut, so I'm not surprised because he loves that Trinity series. Now, as we bring it down and we start talking about the new releases, we got to lead off with a brand new issue of American Gods. It is some, actually, this is a side book, American Gods, my. Angel, a side book to the American Gods series. Very cool David Mack cover here. Neil Gaiman and P. Craig Russell doing some great stuff. Then we've also got the brand new issue of Giants from Dark Horse. And then we hit DC, and DC's got a lot of cool stuff. They've got this brand new issue of Batgirl and the Birds of Prey. But what I really love is we've got this awesome variant cover from Adam Hughes, which has a very cool integration of the logo of the book as if it were a signal in the sky. That's cool. That's this cool design. Now as we move on, we've got the brand new issue of Detective Comics, which I just mentioned. Batman, things aren't going too great in the Batman family right now. There's been a lot of inner turmoil, so now we get to see Red Robin at odds with Bruce himself. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they can work it out. Now as we continue on, we've got the brand new issue of Gotham City Garage, issue number 11. If you want to see the main man, he's right here. Lobo popping up, it's like it was made for him. Of course Lobo is going to thrive in the Gotham City Garage world. Now as we continue, we've got the brand new issue of Red Hood and the Outlaws. And we see a lot of henchmen seem to be coming up to the plate. But I think this is great because uh, it's very fun. It's always great when you see Bizarro taking center stage. And we also have this very cool cover with uh, a recruitment drive going on so Red Hood and the Outlaws you can't trust any of them but you know you want to find out what they're up to now as we move on we've got the brand new issue and the brand new series Eternity Girl number one from Magdalene Visaggio and Sonny Liu who you'll remember Sonny Liu has been doing a bunch of great stuff with DC did the wonderful Dr. Fate series a while back and now we've got the wonderful Eternity Girl series a new book from the young animal imprint spinning out of the Milk Wars event so if you guys want to check out something very cool, check this out, and then come by tomorrow for a signing with Magdalene Visaggio herself. Now we move on, we've got the brand new issue of Flash. We've got a couple different covers here. The Perfect Storm, the end of the race. Uh, Barry's not doing too good if you guys have been keeping up with the book. But now we get to see uh, a new development in the Flash family dynamics, and we get to see him sink to some lows we weren't quite expecting. Now we'll move on and we've got the brand new issue of Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps and the ring shall break him. Kyle Rayner's uh, clearly under quite the strain, but we also have, as we'll see by this other variant, we see the Zods are here. Kneel before Zods, Guy Gardner, you know, Guy Gardner's not one to kneel. So I really got to see this play out because Guy Gardner doesn't really relinquish himself easily. Now we have the brand new issue of Justice League of America. A couple cool covers here, really digging. This Francesco Mattina cover, which looks absolutely awesome because it's got Black Canary screaming, and I love Black Canary. Her canary cry is one of the coolest things in comics, so, you know, Batman is on the wrong end of it, though. Now we do have the brand new issue of Mr. Miracle, the cool cover here by Nick Darrington, and then we've, of course, got the Mitch Gerard's variant, which, uh, this book is depressing, it's wonderful, it's creative, it's innovative, it's everything that you want in one spot, so why aren't you reading it? You should be reading it. Jump on now. Issue number seven, we're halfway through a 12-issue mini. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
Now we do also see the conclusion of another miniseries with the end of Ragman issue number six from uh, Ray Fox. Very fun series if you like the mystical side of Gotham City. Now we have the brand new issue of Scooby Apocalypse. Also in this issue, the adventures of Secret Squirrel. Secret Squirrel popping up in Scooby Apocalypse. Now that's gotta bring a smile to your face. So very fun series. We've also got the brand new issue of Sideways from the new Age of Heroes, Kenneth Rockford, Dan DiDio, and Justin Jordan. Whoa, that's, uh, that's quite the team. That's quite the book, and you guys should definitely be checking it out. As we move on, we see that Hack is back, and she's having an attack on Harley. I can't think of that many Hack words, but I tried. Uh, but the series has been a lot of fun. Of course, Hack uh, had some rough things going on a while back. We'll show off this Andrea Sorrentino variant cover with Killer Croc. But things weren't looking too good for Hack a while back, so now we get to see what it means for her return in the pages of Suicide Squad. And then we have the brand new issue of Supergirl, and we've got this lovely cover by Jorge Jimenez, and we've also got this lovely cover by Stanley Lau, showing off, of course, the 90s Supergirl animated design, which is, for a lot of fans, their favorite Supergirl design. So it's very cool. We're getting a trip down memory lane with the covers, but things are moving forward in the book as we see new frontiers unfolding in uh, Supergirl. So check it out. Now we have the brand new issue of New Superman and the Justice League of China. A couple different covers here. I have always been a fan of the Bernard Chang covers. I think they're super snazzy. And I think the book is something you guys should definitely check out. Last issue was a bit of a new direction for the series. So if you want to check it out, pick up last issue, pick up this issue. Just pick them all up. They're all great. It's a great series. Now we have the brand new issue of Action Comics, issue number 999. That's right, 999. That means next issue is 1,000. We are right on the edge, right about to see a bold new, you know, 1,000th issue, a new frontier we've never seen before. And we get to kind of have a quiet moment before this uh, craziness that ensues next month with uh, a nice little side story. So you guys should check it out. It's a lot of fun and it's very heartfelt. Now we'll bring it up and we'll talk about some of these collected editions. First off, we've got the Badlands uh, trade paperback, a bunch of really cool stuff here. Then we've got the super oversized variant covers, the complete visual history. It is a hardcover edition of some of DC's finest art. We'll talk about that more in a little bit because that one, that one you got to flip through. That one you got to check it out. Then we've got a book that I love. We've got Stephanie Brown's Batgirl being collected in the second trade paperback. Now this is the second half of the series. And you can see that sweet Dustin Wen cover because, of course, he does a lot of the art here. Frank Hugh Miller doing the writing. And this book is fantastic. It is one of my favorite runs of Batgirl and really helped me fall in love with the character of Stephanie Brown. So you guys should definitely check that out. Now we move it on. We've got a couple different collections of All-Star Batman. First off, we've got the paperback edition of the second trade, the Ends of the Earth storyline. We've got Scott Snyder teaming up with Francesco Francavilla and Jock. And then we also have the third one, The First Ally, which is a bit of a throwback as we see Alfred taking center stage. Very cool stuff. Then we've got DC Comics, The Art of Darwin Cook. If you guys picked up the Graphic Ink hardcover a while back, it's all that and then some. It is a super fantastic tribute to one of the greatest comic book artists of all time. And I highly recommend it. Darwin Cook is a personal favorite of mine. And there is a lot to enjoy in that book. And then we've got the Green Lantern Earth One hardcover. This is a brand new original graphic novel. So if you guys want to check out a different take on the Green Lantern, right there. Check it out. It is awesome. Very cool stuff from Gabriel Hardman. Now we will bring it down and we'll talk about a couple more of the new release books. First off, we've got the brand new issue of Titans, issue number 21. And then we've got that issue of Trinity that we were talking about. A couple different covers here. And we've got some crazy stuff going on with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman all in one place. Now we've got the brand new issue of Wildstorm, Michael Cray, issue number 6 out of 12. A couple different covers here. Very cool action series spinning out of the Wildstorm book. So you know you want to check it out. And then we've also got the brand new issue of Wonder Woman. A couple different covers here as we see the Amazons attacked storyline moving forward. Some great stuff. And we get to see Grail once again in the forefront of the story and whenever Grail is in a book you kind of want to watch out because Grail is not really particularly nice and her and Diana don't get along and they fight a lot I mean look they're fighting right there you know it's awful but you know it's an awesome book now we do have a bunch of cool indie books coming out including 
the brand new series from Aftershock, Betrothed, if you want to try out a cool new indie book from Sean Lewis and Steve View. And then we also have come into me a brand new book from Black Mask. And then it's a trifecta of brand new books because we've also got the debut of Vampironica. This is awesome. This is Veronica Lodge from Archie, from Riverdale, from all that as a vampire. And it's great. That's super cool. That's really fun. And Archie has been doing a great job with a lot of their horror books. So if you've never checked out any of the horror books that Archie has put out, they're always phenomenal. And Greg Smallwood doing a great job with Meg Smallwood, his, uh, his sister. And it is definitely something that you want to check out. Bunch of different covers here. Show that off. Let me see. There's more covers, right? Nope, that's the same cover. I know there's another. There it is. Boom. And wait. Wait for it. Boom. One more. Very cool stuff here. Now we also have the brand new issue of Ninjak vs. the Valiant Universe. This is, of course, tying into the web series Ninjak vs. the Valiant Universe. So if you want to see an expansion of that fantastic property, here you go. Then we've also got the brand new issue of Secret Weapons, Owen's Story. This is a side book to the Secret Weapons main series from Valiant. Now as we continue on, we hit IDW, and IDW's got a lot of stuff, including the brand new issue of Back to the Future, Tales from the Time Train, as we see good old Doc Brown, you know, traveling through the time stream, you know, with Clara and having some fun and doing some great stuff. If you're a Back to the Future fan, you got to check it out. We've also got the brand new issue of Ghostbusters Crossing Order Over, which is a uh, book that's going to see some crazy dimensional, you know, play because it's just crazy. I don't know. I, my words failed me there because it's just so crazy that it's boggling my mind. Now we ha do have the brand new issue of The One, The Last Word, and Superheroics. And then we have Rom vs. Transformers Shining Armor being collected in trade paperback, as well as this fancy hardcover edition of the IDW Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, if you haven't checked it out. And also, let's just look at how pretty this is. IDW's Turtles collections are some of my favorite books for the trade dressing, and this is really cool. I really love the way that they look on a shelf. You get them all, they all look great. Very cool stuff. Now, we've also got the brand new issue of Star Trek Discovery, The Light of uh, Collis, as well as Transformers Redemption of the Dinobots. you got to love the Dinobots. I'm uh, particularly fond of Dinobot himself, of course, from Beast Wars. Uh, but the whole Dinobot franchise... Uh, is, are they franchise? I guess I'll call it team ensemble. All those guys, they're pretty cool. Then we've got the brand new issue of Transformers Lost Light, so lots to enjoy if you are a Transformers fan. And then we hit Image with the brand new issue of Beauty. Some very cool stuff here. A couple different beautiful covers to enjoy. Now we've got the brand new issue of Bonehead from Top Cow and uh, Image Imprint, as well as the brand new issue of Curse Words, issue number twelve from Charles Sewell and Ryan Brown. If you haven't checked it out, it's one of the weirdest, wildest, craziest wizardy stories you will ever read, and it is awesome, and it is definitely something that I've really enjoyed. Uh, Ryan Brown's art is crazy and unparalleled, so something you'll really want to keep an eye out for. Now, we do have the brand new issue of Deadly Class, and I love these pretty covers that they're doing. These nice little wraparound covers that really show off the art. Absolutely gorgeous stuff from Wes Craig. And then we've got uh, the main cover as well. So, very cool stuff, actually, I don't, I think there's another, but, oh, right next to it, duh. Some very cool stuff, this is actually a fantastic series. If you haven't ever checked out Deadly Class, you're missing out, because it is one of my favorite books that Image is putting out. I always read it by the trade, and then I always end up reading the old trades again after I read the new trade, because it's just so good. I have to go back and read more. Then we also have a brand new series, Dry County, from Rich Tommaso. And we're going to bring it up and talk about some of the collections that are out this week, including Scalped Book 2. This is a reprinted edition of the Vertigo series from Jason Aaron, one of the most critically acclaimed series of its time. Check it out if you want to see uh, some really cool Vertigo, you know, goodness. Then we've got the Bronze Age of the Justice League, Volume 2. Some very cool stuff here. A nice little Carl Kershaw tribute cover there on the top. And then we've also got the Sheriff of Babylon Deluxe Edition. This is the whole thing. This is all of Sheriff of Babylon, which is, of course, from Tom King and Mitch Gerard. It's the creative team behind Mr. Miracle. And this is a nice, heartfelt human story about war and just about how awful everything is. But it's a really incredible series, and it's very touching, and it's very real. So if you want to check it out, it's something definitely worth uh, indulging on. Now, we do have the Puerto Rico Strong Anthology here, which we're going to talk about more in a little bit, but it's a great book from Lion Forge. It's only twelve ninety nine, so it's a great price, and the proceeds are helping out those who need relief in Puerto Rico. 
And then we've got this very cool Wilds number one signed by Vito Yala, who, of course, was here a couple weeks back. Great series, great book. Definitely something you're going to want to check out. And then we've got the brand new trade paperback, the first trade paperback of Bloodshot Salvation from Jeff Lemire, Miko Soyan, and Louis La Rosa. Some gorgeous art on this book and some really fancy words. Then we've got Ninjak Deluxe Edition Volume 2 hardcover as well as the Nailbiter hardcover collection. So a bunch of cool stuff there. And then we have the first volume of Port of Earth from Zach Kaplan and Andrea Muti. Now we are going to bring it down and we're going to go through a bunch of these cool books from Image, including the brand new series Infidel, which starts this week. So if you want to check out a brand new and possibly controversial series, this is a great opportunity for you to dive in. We also have the reprinted edition of the first issue of Kick-Ass, a very cool book. And then we also have the brand new issue of Mage, The Hero Denied. <laughs> then we have issue five of number one with a bullet, very cool series, as well as the fourth issue of Paradisa. So we've got a lot of cool books. Image is always putting out some crazy ideas, some great sci-fi action. We've also got a one-shot for Postal Postal Laura spinning out of the main narrative. And then we've got the ninth issue of Rose from Meredith Finch and Iguara. Some gorgeous art here. A couple different covers worth showing off as we see a wide range of artistic talents. Now we've got the brand new issue of Sleepless as well as the sixth issue of Slots by Dan Panosian from Skybound. The Skybound imprint, of course, that's Kirkman's little, you know, imprint that he loves and nurtures. And then we've got... The brand new issue of Verses from Ivan Brandon and Asad Ribic. Some really cool stuff here. A gorgeous book uh, if you want to check out a cool sci-fi action adventure series. Now we do hit Marvel, and Marvel's got a lot going on, including a couple reprinted editions of No Surrender, issues 675 and 680. But this is the one that everybody's going to be talking about. This is the one that everybody's going to need to pick up. Issue 684 of Avengers, No Surrender. The Hulk is back, and he is not happy. Granted, you know, when is the Hulk ever happy? Well, I guess he's happy there, right? In the baby variant by Scotty Young. But he is most certainly not happy in this book as he finds himself awoken from a deep sleep. And I don't think he really wanted to get up. I, I think he was still hibernating a little longer. He's not, he's not happy to see his old pals. But I am happy to see this book because it is a crazy adventure that you guys will definitely love. Now, we do have the brand new issue of Falcon, as well as the brand new issue of Despicable Deadpool. Absolutely despicable. I'll show off a couple different covers here. Some very fun New Mutants covers. So, you know, if you're a New Mutants fan, I'm a New Mutants fan. I love seeing all these different covers. I think that's a super cool thing to do all month long. Now, we will bring it up, and we start off with the paperback edition of Walking Dead, Volume 29, which, of course, came out last week. But you guys loved it so much, we decided to keep it up here just a little bit longer. We've also got the brand new epic collection of... The Avengers, the collection obsession. This is number 21. This is from 1991 to 1992, bringing you back to those early 90s adventures. Some crazy stuff going on with the Avengers. I mean, the 90s were crazy for the Avengers. So this is the beginning of that. Now we've also got some cloak and dagger runaways and reversals. Very cool to see a lot of the cloak and dagger books being reprinted. This is a bunch of the odds and ends. So it's got their appearances in a number of books, including runaways and their own series, Cloak and Dagger, Spider Island, Amazing Spider-Man. So this is great. And it's, oh, and it's got Dark X-Men. Look at that. It's got some of this stuff from Dark X-Men. That was really cool. I really like the way they were integrated into that storyline. We've also got the brand new paperback collection of Deadpool by Brian Bussain and Jerry Duggan. This is the second volume of the complete collection. So it's got a whole lot of goodness. And it's also got, it's got a lot of comics in it. It's got, uh... 15 through 19, 21 through 25, Deadpool, Dracula's Gauntlet. So it's got the whole thing. Everything you want to know about Deadpool is going to be found right inside of that book. Then we have the brand new volume of Guardians of the Galaxy, the all-new Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we have another epic collection as we see the master of Kung Fu in his first ever epic collection. So very cool to see him getting the epic treatment. And it's volume one. So these are the original adventures of Shang-Chi. Very cool. You, you gotta love Shang Chi. He's the master of kung fu. You know he's an awesome guy, and you know he's got cool party tricks, probably. Now we do have the brand new issue of Doctor Strange, issue number three hundred and eighty-seven. So we've got that there, but what it's hiding 
is Marvel 2 and 1 issue number 4. That's right, The Thing and the Human Torch are going on a crazy adventure, going through some crazy hardships. The Thing is kind of lying to Johnny's face. He's not really telling him what's up, and Johnny's, you know, just along for the ride. But we get to see this harrowing journey as they are searching for Reed Richards and Sue Storm, and they're looking for hope. You know, that's I th we're all looking for hope, right? You know, this is some deep, profound stuff and some crazy adventure from Jim Chung and Valerio Skeety. So if you haven't been checking it out, definitely check it out. It's it's really fantastic. Now we do have the brand new issue of Punisher, issue number 222, 222 uh, from Matt Rosenberg. Very cool. If you want to see the Punisher shooting a bunch of people while he's dressed up like War Machine. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to see that? That's a, it's a great premise, and it's a great book. So if you haven't been checking it out, now is as good a time as any. Get in on this. We do also have the brand new issue of Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider. Now this is tying in with the main Damnation book, which is of course impacting Las Vegas, which you know the Scarlet Spider has been known to hang out in. So we get some fun adventures here with Ben Riley. Definitely something that is great if you're reading the main Damnation book as well. Then we've got the second issue of Oldies unfolding in Spider-Man Deadpool, issue number 29 of the series. Some great stuff going on there. We also have a brand new storyline beginning. Amazing fantasy in Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man. Once again, Chip Zarsky doing some great work here, but we get to see Joe Quinones jumping onto a Spider-Man book, and that makes me happy because I'm a big Joe Quinones fan, so I'm very happy to see him drawing Spider-Man. It, it was made to be. He's, he's, he's fit for the book. It's fantastic. We also have the brand new issue of Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, The Forbidden Planet, a very cool homage to the classic film here and some classic sci-fi tropes. It's been a really great adventure, and if you're looking for just a great fun book that everybody on the planet is going to enjoy, you got to pick up Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. It's genuinely one of the most fun and creative books out there. Then we also have the brand new issue of Darth Vader, issue number 13. We've got the Snoke cover here and then we've got the main cover as well so you know depending on which old wrinkly dark you know like darth dude you want you got snoke you got vader you got bald old wrinkly guys you know who doesn't who doesn't love that we also have the brand new issue of thrawn maybe maybe you don't like bald wrinkly guys maybe you like blue guys you know then you got your evil blue people too it's great star wars has everything for you you know it's not just one kind of evil person, it's all kinds of evil people, and Thrawn is one of the evilest of evils, and you should be reading his book, or he'll kill you. We also have the third printing of Thanos number 14, that's right, the book is so popular, the book is so hot, Donny Cates is doing such a great job, it's on the third printing, so pick it up before it goes to number four, because I can almost guarantee you it's going to, it's doing some great stuff. We've also got a trio of true believers here, as we've got Venom Lethal Protector, Venom Shiver, and Venom Carnage, so this is great if you're looking for a bunch of different uh, books. Now we have the brand new issue of Weapon X as well from Greg Pack with Fred Van Lente jumping in to help him out. Some great stuff going on here. We also have the brand new issue of All New Wolverine. A couple different covers here. The new Mutants variant has Richter, which is pretty cool, I think. And then we've got one of my favorite new Mutants variants. We've got Doug Ramsey? Doug Ramsey on a cover? See, what, what a world we live in where Doug Ramsey made a cover. See, that makes me happy. This book makes me happy. If you've been checking out Old Man Logan, it's been doing a great job. Ed Brisson's been having a lot of fun. we got Delibor Telehick on art for this issue for the new Moving Targets storyline. And it looks like Wolverine has found himself in the crosshairs of uh, somebody who isn't too friendly. Now, we do continue on, and we've got... New Mutants Dead Souls issue number one from Matt Rosenberg. Some great stuff here. Adam Gorham on art and a bunch of different covers. So definitely something that you'll want to check out if you're a New Mutants fan. I'm a big New Mutants fan. New Mutants is one of my favorite subsets of the X-Men. So it makes me very happy to see them in the pages of their own book once again. We also have the brand new issue of X-Men Blue. And then we've got the brand new issue of Astonishing X-Men. So if you are an X-Men fan, there are lots of books for you to enjoy. And it is definitely a great time for you to jump in and indulge on some fantastic... So first off, we've got that brand new issue of Detective Comics, issue 976. 976. Can you name that many books with 976 issues? I can only name two, Detective in Action. But I can tell you that this book is definitely worth the time. I have really enjoyed James Tynion's run on the series, doing some great stuff. Let's see if I can flip open 
and maybe show you some cool action sequences as we see the orphan jumping into some combat. Some good stuff going on here. And this book has just been great. It's been really cool because they've been doing a great job of balancing the action along with harrowing hardships for, you know, for the heartstrings. Some really sad stuff, but some really good stuff throughout this book. We also have the brand new series, Eternity Girl. Now, I talked about this a little bit before. So, Eternity Girl, we got some cool stuff going on here. We got Sunny Lou showing off the art. And let me just show you some of this crazy stuff. Because you can just see that every page has a lot of creative influence. Mags Visaggio and Sunny Lou doing a great job launching a new book from Young Animal. If you guys missed out on some of the last wave of Young Animal books, don't worry. There's brand new Young Animal books coming out your way. But if you want to check out a brand new property, something you've never seen before... Eternity Girl is the way to go. Now, we do have the brand new issue of Flash, and I'm a big Flash fan, but I really am excited by this current storyline because we're getting to see a lot of Wally West, but what makes me happy, really, truly, deeply happy, is Dan Panosian is on art for this issue, and Dan Panosian is an awesome talent, so getting to see him on the Flash and drawing Wally West, I am spoiled. I am spoiled, and we've got this cool David Finch cover here, which I picked up both. See, now I'm on flat. The variants have been so good lately that now I buy the regular cover and the variant cover, and I had to pick this up. Now, another book I had to pick up was the brand new issue of Mr. Miracle, issue number seven. Now, miss you. I said miss you. Issue number seven. This book is really fun. If you have not been reading it, it is definitely worthwhile. Now, I want to try to find you a page. Mr. Miracle also has a tendency to maybe lean towards... Uh, adult-centric stories in a sense maybe not the book that you hand off to the kids but definitely a book that has a great creative influence as we see Tom King bringing back some really cool stuff a couple of nice pages here by Mitch Gerards doing really fantastic job and I could show you any page and it's not gonna do it justice because Mitch Gerards art is great but what really uh, makes this book something special is that it's so much more than the it's more than the sum of its parts, you know. It really exceeds the conventional storytelling and it is a book you want to be reading. Now we do have the brand new book Sideways and Sideways issue number 1 was absolutely fantastic. Kenneth Rockefort is on art and just to show you, Kenneth Rockefort is an amazing artist. First off, he's doing one of the very rarely seen uh vertical layouts here. I guess you would call it, you know, he does this double page splash, but he turns the page, which makes you turn the page, which makes you turn it sideways, as it were. But this has been a great read. If you didn't check it out, this is, I think, one of the strongest books out of the New Age of Heroes line that DC is putting out right now. And this is actually super cool. And Kenneth Rockfort is always amazing. I'll read anything he draws, and I am definitely reading this. Now, we do have the brand new issue of Action Comics. We got this very nice Carrie Andrews cover here, which I definitely like. But what I like here is you, you open it up and you automatically know what kind of story you're getting. You're getting a heartfelt story about Jonathan Kent meeting up with his granddad for the first time. That's right. General Lane, the very, the very mean man, the very stern man, the very compelling character that we've seen in the Superman books for years and years and years and years and years now. Finally meeting up with his grandson for the first time after an estranged relationship with Lois Lane seems to be patched up. So this is a nice downbeat issue and very cool if you want to just check out a done-in-one adventure that focuses on character first. This is the place to be. Now we have the brand new issue of Titans and Titans is awesome because it's got Dan Abnett writing and I love Dan Abnett. But this issue is particularly awesome because it's got Monsieur Milan in the brain and... I'm, I'm a big DC fan. I'm a big Marvel fan. I like comics in general. There's so much to enjoy. But what I really like are the weird characters and concepts that we don't always get to regularly see. So Monsieur Milan the Brain is one of my favorite things in comics because it's a giant like gorilla that's in love with a brain in a tube. That's ridiculous. And the br they're French. It's silly. It's fun. It's something that can only happen in comics, and it only happens in the pages of Titans. So you guys should be checking it out just to check out something cool. And of course, you know, if you're not a fan of giant gorillas, don't worry. They get punched a lot. You know, we've got, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to show you a page that isn't like a horrible spoiler page. But yeah, we get to see Nightwing. We get to see Wally West. We get to see the whole Titans ensemble. And of course, things aren't looking too good for uh, Arsenal. So but things are looking good for us, the fans. So, you know, sometimes you like seeing the people you love suffer. Should I not say that? That's probably not a great thing to say. It's okay. Just shh. It's true. Now, we do have the brand new series, Vampironica, and Greg Smallwood does a great job on the interior art, but I had to grab the Marguerite Savage cover here because it's very cool, very awesome, and this book is just... 
So atmospheric. Greg Smallwood did an amazing job recently on his Moon Knight run with Jeff Lemire. And this is really cool art. Like, this is actually, like, super cool art that makes me excited to be a comic book fan. And Archie is putting out a lot of really exciting books. And I think sometimes people underestimate Archie. They underestimate just how incredibly creative their, uh, their full cast of creators are. So this is a book you're definitely going to want to check out. And, uh... I mean, it's Vampire Veronica. Come on, that's awesome. And it's got a great name, Vampironica. Awesome. Sold. Easy. Sold. Now, we do have the brand new issue of Ghostbusters crossing over. And this is very cool. If you're a fan of the classic Ghostbusters and you want to see more action with them, that's great. If you're a fan of the new Ghostbusters and you want to see some more action, that's great, too. That's what this book brings you. It is bridging together the different worlds, but it's also kind of showing you that maybe messing with different realities and different dimensions isn't the best idea ever. So it's very fun if you are a Ghostbusters fan. A nice little lesson in responsibility. You know, you don't cross streams. You think dimensions is going to be a better idea. But this book is the best idea of all. So check it out if you are a Ghostbusters fan. Now we do have the brand new issue of Versus. And if you did not check out the first issue, you missed out on a very cool adventure. Don't worry, we still got it. It's awesome. But this book is just really cool. So if you guys ever read like Ender's Game or something like that, or like one of these big gladiatorial events where you see a bunch of people that are fighting in like a simulated combat system, that's more or less the premise of Versus. You get to see these... Uh, it's almost like American Gladiators, you know? It's like American Gladiators, but, like, the dude's got, like, you know, four robot arms giving him a hand. So it's really cool. The art is gorgeous. It's Asad Ribic, who, if you have not checked out his art, he did Secret Wars, he did Thor, he did all these great books. And he's doing a great book here with Ivan Brandon putting some pretty words on the page, too. Really definitely something you're going to want to check out. I highly recommend Versus. Now, we do hit Marvel, and we've hit the issue we've all been waiting for ever since we saw this cover ever since we knew this was coming we were frothing at the mouth even more than our buddy here uh the hulk is back and that's awesome if you're a bruce banner fan it's very cool and this is also great because we get to see the art of joe bennett um some flashbacks here as we see the early adventures of bruce banner and kind of just why things are always really difficult for him so if you're a fan of the incredible hulk you want to pick this up it's an extra sized issue because it's got all that added mass that the hulk has to have it you know makes sense right great book great read and i'm super excited for the new immortal hulk book because if it's anything like this it's going to be amazing it's going to be awesome now, we do have the brand new issue of Doctor Strange, which is one of the coolest covers of the week, I think. Because, of course, Doctor Strange is all up in lights because he's in the City of Sin, Las Vegas. And, of course, it is actually the City of Sin right now because Mephisto has taken over in the Damnation storyline. So, if you aren't checking that out, I highly recommend that you do. We're only two issues in, but this is a great side story. And it also gives us an opportunity to have Nico Henriken back on art, who did some of the art during the Secret Empire stuff. And is such an amazing talent uh just show off some cool splash pages here we can see a lot of mystical characters brought into the fold and this book is definitely something that you guys will want to be keeping up with it's really great donny cates has been doing an amazing job on the series now we've got marvel two and one just wanted to talk about this here real quick because i am a big fan of the fantastic four so maybe i've got some horrible bias that's you know completely shaping my views but i'll tell you what it's hard to argue when you open up a book and you see pages like this. Valerio Skidi doing an amazing job on the art. We see Johnny and Ben embarking on a fantastic journey to find Reed and Sue. And it's been really great. It's been really fun. Chip Zartsky is doing a great job. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see where it goes. Now we've got a trio of books here that I just wanted to talk about all in one shot. These are True Believers. Now, what is a True Believer, you might ask? Well, it is a dollar. That is right. These are reprinted editions of some classic comics that are available for only one dollar. So if you got three dollars in your pocket, you got three comics that you can take home with you. And they are really cool because they collect some of the classic adventures. What I think is really cool, I think it's really great to see the Daniel Way Venom because we don't really, you know, it doesn't get talked about that much anymore. And Daniel Way, of course, went on to be a huge star uh, in the company. And there's just some You can buy a can in Arizona, or you can have a comic you'll own forever. Yeah. 
Now, a book that I am really excited for as well is New Mutants Dead Souls number one. So we've got a lot of different covers here, and they I grabbed this one that's got a nice showcase of the team as we see a bit of a different lineup for the New Mutants, a bit of an amalgamation as we see some of the characters from uh, X Factor brought into the fold. But this book is really cool. We get to see Magic taking center stage. If you guys read Secret Warriors, uh, Matt Rosenberg really likes Magic, so he's bringing her from Secret Warriors into the pages of New Mutants, and it is a book that I hope that you guys bring home with you because it is a fantastic read, and it's great to see a lot of these New Mutants characters being revitalized for a new era and having some great new stories told. Then we have... To close off Marvel, we've got this very cool issue of X-Men Blue. Now, the reason I'm excited for this issue of X-Men Blue is because if you guys have been reading what's been going on with this Poison X crossover stuff with Venom, the X-Men are, like, in space. So what's an X-Men book without the X-Men? Well, you've got Jimmy Hudson. You've got Bloodstorm. You've got some crazy adventures that can be told with a lot of the team missing. What does the rest of the team do? And a new ensemble is building up. And I'm really excited to see what kind of mission they embark on. We'll show off this cool page here. This is what happens. You get Polaris back in the pages of X-Men. So it's really cool. Cullen Bunn doing a great job on the series. If you are an X-Men fan and you like seeing some of the expanded members of the team, this is the book to find them. Now, we've got a cool different, a couple different collections here that are really cool that I want to talk to you guys about. First off, we've got the Green Lantern Earth 1 hardcover. Now, this is a hardcover edition. It's $24.99. It is a full story. You are getting the entire story in this nice, prestigious, very pretty hardcover. And we get to see Gabriel Hardman doing a brand new take on the Green Lantern mythos. And let's just open it up. And this, just to give you an idea of how different this is from your standard Green Lantern tale, this is what the Green Lantern's doing. This is some different stuff. And I think it's really cool as we get to see him facing off against the Manhunters. Now, I want to flip through this a bit. Really cool. It's almost got a horror vibe at times, which I think is awesome. But I want to show you this one page that I think is really cool. Well, I'll show you for this one. This one's really cool. We get some great action as we see Hal Jordan learning the ropes. And if you guys have read a lot of the Earth-1 graphic novels, they're really cool because they show us new takes on the characters. If you guys read Batman Earth-1 by Jeff Johns, great. If you read uh, J. Michael Straczynski's Superman Earth-1, if you read Jeff Lemire on Teen Titans Earth-1, they've put top talent. Grant Morrison on Wonder Woman Earth-1, always some of the best of the best in comics on these books. And Gabriel Hardman definitely fits the bill, doing a great job and a new adventure. Then we've got the Puerto Rico Strong Anthology, and this is really great and very cool because all profits from sales of Puerto Rico Strong will be donated to support relief and rebuilding efforts in Puerto Rico. It says so right on the back. So you know what you're getting is the genuine deal, and this is great because it's just a lot of creators coming together to tell some great stories. Anthology book are always really fun. If you guys read, you know, this is kind of similar in vain to the Love is Love book that came out a couple years ago, and it's really great to see a lot of these creators rallying behind important causes. So... Please support this. It's very cool. It's very important, and it's just a good book, too. Then we've got Bloodshot Salvation, a brand new number one volume from our pals at Valiant. You can see that number one right down at the bottom. But this book is super cool. If you haven't ever checked out Bloodshot, maybe you're curious. Maybe you don't know what you're looking for. This is Bloodshot kind of at the end of his rope. This is Bloodshot trying to rebuild his family, rebuild his life, rebuild his livelihood. But he's being haunted by ghosts of the past. And it's a great read. If you've never read Bloodshot before, this is a great opportunity to jump onto the property. And it is a lot of fun. Now, one book I had to grab, but I couldn't put with that stack because it's just too big. Is the DC Comics variant covers the complete visual history. Now, this book is super cool. And I'm just going to flip open some of these pages as we get to see gorgeous art now and i mean gorgeous art this is great because it's a large visual presentation of some classic stuff oh. and when you open it up and you see nice double page art from darwin cook it's gonna make you happy it's beautiful stuff darwin cook actually gets like a whole little section here which makes me really happy because these covers i went out of my way and i picked up like at least half of these covers really cool stuff here um but it's just a gorgeous book and i am a big fan of a lot of the art in this book and I think it's really cool it's also great because they actually give you context as well so let's say we go back here and it's DC talking about when they did a lot of their horror themed covers so this is really cool it gives you context it gives you stuff to really enjoy and there's one in here that I really wanted to show off just because I thought it was cool as I try to find where it was do do well maybe I can't find it right now 
But there's some great stuff in here, and I wanted to show you. <sighs> this book is just so big. It's so big I have to like do it with like one hand like over my shoulder and all that. Oh, I'm getting close. Where? A couple pages away. There we go. I wanted to show off this one right here. This Batman TMNT by Cliff Chang. Oh, and what's that? It's a Midtown Comics exclusive. That's right. So if you guys really love that art, you can always, of course, pick it up here. But I also just think I'm like unbiased on anything. This is a really cool page. I really love it. I love Cliff Chang. And I love that this book is a great visual spectacle showing off some of the greatest art in comics. And that's the week. It's a good week. There's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of exciting books. Of course, we've got some exciting events. Like I mentioned before, we've got a signing with Magdalene Visaggio tomorrow night. It's going to be a lot of fun here at Midtown Comics Times Square. Then we also have a signing next week with Greg Pak and Corey Smith for Weapon H. So that's going to be super awesome. And we've always got some crazy stuff going on. So you guys better swing by. You better pop into the shop. You better say hi. And we'll see you soon. Like this video? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media channels. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all over the place. And we've got tons of great stuff, great events, great content coming your way. So let us know what you guys want to see. Let us know what books you guys love and are checking out. And hopefully we'll see you soon.